Howdy, Simmers. I think a lot of people get turned off by the idea of getting Strangerville because of the storyline element. It's something new, it's something different, and that can be a little intimidating for some people. But I really liked the Strangerville storyline. The only problem is that I haven't played it in a long time. So I thought today I would take my Clown Sim at Cubix to Strangerville and play through that storyline. I'm going to go ahead and give her the Strangerville aspiration. It says Strangerville Mystery. Strangerville is holding some deep, dark secret, and this sim wants to uncover why all the townsfolk are acting a bit strange. And I'm gonna go ahead and move her into this little 20 by 15 house. So we have this little pop-up that says, Strangerville, welcome to Strangerville. The only thing stranger than the people is the flora. Soon after moving in, the town's slogan is starting to make sense to you. Some of the locals are acting a bit suspicious, and there's a large number of military and scientists in town. Try asking people about Strangerville. They might be able to shed some light on this strange situation. All right, so we are here, and we're basically just going to complete our aspiration. We're going to follow it through and through, and we have our little crappy house here, but we have a bugging like listening station, so that's fun. But I guess we gotta go find some people, so we're probably gonna have to travel. And I guess I'm gonna take her to the bar. All right, we have a few people here. We have Lily Fang over here. So let's talk about Strangerville to her. We also have this dude who is already possessed, so we're going to avoid him, I guess. All right, what did Lily have to say? I've heard there's some kind of secret lab in the crater outside town. Meredith, what do you know about this? She says, have you heard of the secret lab in the crater? I want to go see it. Okay, so there's a lot of talk about this lab. Um, we have Kyle Kyleson as our mixologist. So, can we talk about Strangerville to him? Would he know anything about this? This has always been a military town, but it sure seems like there's a lot more of them around lately. So lots of military involved. Interesting. Is there anyone else around who we can discuss this with? Oh yeah, there's someone on a bike here. Who is this? Gavin Richards. Maybe we can stop him to chat or maybe not he disappeared we need to find some more people oh here we go we've got the military personnel over here who i highly doubt will tell us anything <laughs> but it's worth a shot all right yusuf what can you say people shouldn't worry about the secret lab in the crater we have top people working on it right now top people what about you person who is currently walking away from me <laughs> she's got one of those strange metal hats on so she might be able to Give us some input. Oh, she's scared for some reason. I am always curious what goes on in that secret lab. After that explosion a few weeks back, I have not seen anyone go in or out. Ooh, an explosion. Okay. Now, we need to visit the curio shop, which it looks like it's over here. So why don't we go ahead and buy some items. It also looks like there is a secret inventory. So that is interesting. We'll have to check that out later. Oh, it's raining. How pleasant. We've got some interesting stuff here in this collection. But I think what would be most useful are a few of these bugs. We'll just get like five, I guess. We have a listening station anyway. She wants to run inside, but we should go check out the secret lab. All right, we are here and there is a giant bar over the word secret because it's a secret. Um, we did get a message from the shop as well. Thank you for shopping at Curio's Creations and more. No one ever asks me what the more is. But anywho, enjoy your new items. We will definitely be using them at a later point. Alright, so we need to examine this store over here. And with her being freaked out, she might actually get here a little bit quicker. <laughs> so she is examining. She is very uncomfortable from <laughs> the rain. Um, next we need to gather 15 pieces of evidence. Evidence can be found all over Strangerville. Search boxes and papers at the secret lab. Search Strangerville archives at the library. Question sims around Strangerville. Buy a listening device to listen in on scientists and military personnel. The door is locked. Looks like it requires a key card. Someone around town might know how to get one. Before leaving, poke around the secret lab to gather more information. So we're gonna do a little bit of snooping then try to find whatever we can and luckily we have indicators for where all we can search so i will just queue up a bunch of stuff we found a clandestine dongle the heck is that strange blueprints infrared microfilm suspiciously blurry photo we found encrypted usb device a skilled programmer might be able to decrypt it 
It can be found in your Sims inventory. Well, unfortunately, we are not very skilled at programming, so not sure how useful that will really end up being. But let's go take some pictures of the flora. We might be able to use this as evidence, too. Where else can we search for evidence? I guess we maybe have to go talk to some people. So let's go ahead and travel again. And maybe this time we'll go to the library. We need six more pieces of evidence, but she really needs to use the bathroom. So I'm going to go ahead and let her take care of that. But then we are definitely going to have to do some searching through these archives. With any luck, we'll find something of use. She is not doing well at all right now from the rain. I'm just going to take that mood lid away so she can focus a little bit better. As Cubix leafs through the book, something interesting falls out. Strange blueprints. Unsolved mysteries of Strange Ravel. A local resident claims that after he found his lost cat outside the crater, it became unreasonably afraid of his house plants and wouldn't stop hissing until they were all removed from the property. Looks like we have a scientist over here, so maybe we should... <laughs> Do we want to question him directly about Strange Ravel? I guess that's the way to do it. He'll deny everything, but what's your name? Nathaniel Curry. Oh, hey, we have El Faba here. <laughs> Are we really talking about this, like, across the room from stuff? There's a child in front of us. I used to work in that lab, but ever since the explosion, I've said too much. I can't share that information with strangers. Then maybe we'll just have to chat with you a little bit and get close enough to plant a bug. We'll tell him a funny story. We are not gonna romance, I don't know why I clicked that. <laughs> we'll discuss our interests, maybe, and we'll try to make friends, and then maybe we'll plant a bug. Hopefully he won't notice. There's a lot of eyes around here, I'm a little concerned. We have another scientist here. Did we not end up planting a bug? Like, can we try that again? I know there's a lot of people around, but... All right, going in for the hug. And bug planted. Nathaniel Curry didn't notice the bug being planted. Use the listening device to see if Nathaniel Curry spills any important information. Sounds good to me. Maybe we should find a few other people, though, to plant bugs on. We have a lot of scientists around. What if we plant a bug on this person? Why don't we talk about Strangerville firstly? And maybe we'll do a friendly introduction. Military ranked warrant officer level five or above can get a key card to the restricted area of the lab. Just use a computer to requisition a key card and they'll mail one to you. I've heard civilians are finding ways to get them too though. I guess that's what she asked about though, was how to get a key card. But we are definitely going to try to plant a bug on him too. That bug has been planted as well. We need to go home though, I think, and firstly get Cubic some food, but also listen in on our little scientist friends. All right, let's go ahead and listen in on Nathaniel. He did spill a little bit of information to us earlier, so maybe he has something interesting for us. I'm just a botanist. I don't know anything about space rocks. Cubic's received Strangerville evidence. All right. <laughs> oh, Cubix is a little tired, I guess. Do you have time to listen in on Stefan real quick, though? Or Steven. I don't know how that name is pronounced. Oh, we got the same thing from him. So they're bringing in scientists who have no clue about what's going on. Interesting. Well, I definitely think we are going to have to plant a few more bugs today because we need just a little bit more evidence. But let's go ahead and take care of Cubix's needs before we do any of that. So we're going to have some breakfast we'll just do some fruit salad Ooh, we have a strangerville welcome wagon oh gosh i don't know that i want to be welcomed to the neighborhood by these two <laughs> these two look a little uh oh no there's a third one i guess we'll try to talk to one of them but oh gosh good gosh what happens if we plant a bug on her the mother knows all. Do not resist her. She's been bugged now. Can I go ahead and have you listen in on her then? I know she's right there, but I am kind of curious what happens when you listen in on a uh, bugged, possessed person. Please tell me she's not going to come into our house now, though, because we've said hello. All right. She said, I've seen some crazy stuff in my day, but that lab still gives me the shivers thinking about it. Okay. Did she snap out of it or is she still... No, she's still kind of possessed, but... <laughs> Apparently not possessed enough to 
like completely ruin her speech or anything. We need two more pieces of information. Oh my gosh, join us in the crater. I cannot. <laughs> Lots of people are possessed right now. They got a scientist. No. Okay, so is the entire town possessed right now? Like, well, Cletus is fine, but he's from the eco lifestyle world. So, well, let's go ahead and travel again and try to get some more information from some military personnel. Hopefully. All right, we do have someone over here, Alicia Peck. So let's go ahead and talk to her about Strangerville. Hi, my name is Cubix. I'm new in town. Just want some information about this place, if you don't mind. We've got Deontay Proctor invading our conversation. Oh, no, he's military too, though. I have some evidence of what's been going on, but I'm not supposed to talk about it. Well, you don't have to talk about it then. Just not to us, at least, but we'll... Find out for ourselves. Will our planting go unnoticed, though? I'm a little worried. No, she didn't notice. Okay. So we are good on that. We do have some more over here. Oh, Yusuf's back. Well, <laughs> I guess it'll be a little bit easy to plant a bug on him. We know him already. Hey, Yusuf. Everything is fine. So we'll go back and listen to the last things of evidence. But our next thing is going to be to compile a Strangerville secret dossier collect evidence throughout strangerville then click on it in your sims inventory okay so all of the evidence that we have we're just gonna make like a book of it or something like that let's listen to alicia real quick and luckily it looks like our possessed friends have gone away thankfully all right alicia says i've seen some crazy stuff in my day but that lab still gives me the shivers okay all right hopefully we can get something that we haven't already had we need some new information as far as we can tell just people don't like that lab or they have no clue what's going on dang he gave us the same message <laughs> well we'll have to create a dossier out of all the stuff that we got so compile a secret dossier i'm probably making a lot of you guys mad if i'm saying it wrong it's probably pronounced dossier or something right <laughs> i don't know you have successfully compiled a secret dossier the dossier can be used to request a key card i bet scientists military personnel or that curio shop owner would be very interested in seeing this so we need to acquire a key card which is the curio shop actually near us or yeah there's one over here okay i wasn't sure if it was close by or not but Secret inventory. I don't know. Why don't we talk about Stranderville with this person first? Hey there, Erwin. I've got some stuff for you if you're interested. There are ways to get a key card to the basement of the secret lab. If you get enough evidence of the strange stuff going on in town. Well, you're in for something. <laughs> Let's go ahead and request a key card. I've got all this information for you if you're willing to give me this one little thing. I think I have a key card in my secret inventory. I'll only sell this to you if you can prove you are committed to the Strangerville investigation. Maybe if you have a secret dossier. I do have a secret dossier. How would I give this to you, though? Buy key card and give dossier. There we go. I just noticed he has a gnome locked in a cage down here. <laughs> All right, we got the key card. So now what we can go to the secret lab. Now that we've got our key card... Let's go ahead and use it to get inside. Cubix's is fun is getting kind of low, so... <laughs> Who knows, maybe we'll have fun down here in the basement. Oof. Collect 15 spore clusters. We need to find an infection scanner by questioning military personnel at the local bar. Once you have one in your inventory, scan the ground to reveal spores. All right, back to the bar we go then. Wait, she's fully headed downstairs. <laughs> She's walking all this way before we do stuff. Okay, then. Oh, boy. We got another pop-up. The bloom begins. Leaving the secret lab, you can't help but notice the sky has shifted to an eerie color. Something has changed in Strangerville, and not for the better. Opening that lab door must have released some kind of toxin into the air. You'll need to find a way to protect yourself from the toxic spores in the secret lab. Try talking to people around town to see if they know of anything that might help. All right. Well, we have a uh, military person over here, so we will definitely have to talk to them about it. I just got this new infection scanner. It is really cool. It can, I mean, that is classified information. But if you can convince me, maybe I can give you one. 
Okay, well, let's talk about Strangerville then, and not with this person wearing a hot dog head. Someone broke into the lab and released spores. We're using our infection scanners to find them. Yeah, that was us. Sorry. Seduce for infection scanner? Sure. <laughs> well, we'll try that. I have a feeling that won't work, but... Oh my gosh. <laughs> wow, that was amazing. I really should not be doing this, but take this infection scanner. Okay then, that worked I guess. So let's scan around and try to find some spore clusters. Doesn't look like we found anything there, so we'll just kind of have to click around and hope or whatever. <laughs> Nothing there either. I'm thinking we'll have to go back to the secret lab, because we'll have an easier time grabbing some stuff from the main source. I will say the one thing I don't really like about the whole storyline thing is that it's a lot of back and forth. We have to go between the lab, the library, and the bar so often. <laughs> like we can't ever just stay in one place. But hey, we found some. So let's go ahead and put these in our inventory. So now we need to assemble the hazmat suit. Find a hazmat suit and a spore filter, then combine them in your inventory. Question about spores with scientists at the local library and the curio shop owner to get more information. Back to the curio shop, which is right over here. Let's talk to our good friend, Erwin. This is an Erwin. This is Alex Richardson, who says, I have a hazmat suit that can help protect you against all these spores, but it's missing a breathing filter. I bet a scientist could make you one. Can we get a hazmat suit from you then? I have a couple of those hazmat suits in my secret inventory. I doubt they'll do much good without a spore filter, but I would be willing to sell it to you if you're interested. I am interested. Give me the hazmat suit, please. <laughs> there we go. For a thousand simoleons, we will have a hazmat suit. Enjoy your brand new incomplete hazmat suit. I told you it was missing a crucial component. You might want to question scientists about spores. They might be able to provide some kind of spore filter. Sounds like we're going to head back to the library. Here's how it works. Military hang out at the bar. Scientists hang out at the library. <laughs> and we have Stefan here and Dylan Warner. Okay, well, we're going to talk to you since we already know you. So we'll question about the spores in the lab. And maybe he will be willing to give up the filter or something like that. <laughs> I have the materials to craft a spore filter, but I have not been able to analyze enough spore clusters. Use the chemical analyzer at the secret lab to construct the infection profile data. Bring it to me and I can construct a spore filter. Yes, that means we're going back to the lab now. I'm not kidding. Lots of back and forth. We're going to have to go downstairs now because I do believe that analyzer is down in the basement. Our analyzer is going to be over here. But we've got a long hallway of spores and toxic gas probably. <laughs> Very dangerous. This has definitely taken a while, but I'm not surprised. <laughs> Cubix's diligent analysis of the collected spore cluster has paid off. Take this infection profile data to a Strangerville scientist to see if they have any helpful information. What if we just like went up here and called our scientist friend? What's the chance that he will stop by? Hey, I need you to meet me at the secret lab. This is important. <laughs> oh, he's sleeping. What? Okay, it is one in the morning. <laughs> I should probably send her home, honestly. Did not realize how late it was. All right, Cubix, you can go to bed. Cubix is not very happy. <laughs> we need to make some food fast. Oh, no. <laughs> it's gotten worse. We have plants growing in our sink. She has a moodlet too, I think. No, she has a fear of failure but also a fear of plants happening right now. <laughs> so I think we're gonna have to clear out the vines. Where are you taking that bowl? I'm gonna have her clear that out <laughs> and we're gonna try to get Steven to come over. Oh wait, he's here. Or he's at least nearby. He's all the way over here. Okay, well, can we chat with him now? If you can provide me with the spore profile data, I can craft a breathing filter to protect your lungs from this infection. All right, well, we've got it for you if you want it. Oh, we need a higher relationship though. So I guess we are just going to try to make friends and all will be well. Can we cloud gaze it all or something? <laughs> Ask to cloud gaze, because that usually gets our stuff up pretty quickly. No, what do you mean you should get going? We have got things to do. <laughs> you are not leaving me behind right now. Where is she going? 
all the way back here. Oh. And he disappeared anyway. I guess we're going to have to find another scientist then. Who do we have around? Oh, we have some secret service people. It's looking like we around. It's not terrifying at all. Okay, we do have a scientist over here. Oh, it's Nathaniel. All right, well, we can cloud gaze with him. He's our buddy. <laughs> oh, we're going to cloud gaze over the crosswalk, basically, <laughs> right at the end. Is our relationship going up at all? Oh, we can ask him to craft a filter for us now. I guess it didn't need to be that high. <laughs> wow, you did it. Let me analyze this infection profile data, and I'll send you a spore filter in the mail soon. Keep digging, and you might find a vaccine for this infection after all. So I guess we're going to go home and just... Wait for the mail. Cubix, I ran some tests on that infection profile data. I constructed a spore filter that will attach to any hazmat suit. This will give you everything you need to go deeper into the secret lab. Keep an eye on your mailbox for a special delivery. One eternity later. Oh my gosh. No, this is not part of the structure fill. Vlad! Really? We're already dealing with something creepy and you just have to come here and mess with Cubix. This is not okay. Fight it. Resist. I can't get her to resist. Snap out of it, Cubix. <laughs> Vlad, you are a very bad vampire. You know that? You're ruining everything. Well, she's about to pass out. I'm stuffed. Couldn't drink another bite. I won't turn her, but Cubix's plasma is so delicious, it would take a lot of garlic to keep me away next time. I'll be back when I crave another midnight snack. No, you won't. You're going to leave us alone <laughs> from now on. Yeah, she's going to be uncomfortable for probably the rest of the day. <laughs> One hour later. The mail is here. So I bet that is our thingy-mabob. <laughs> so let's combine it with the hazmat suit. And now we can go to the lab, which I feel really bad for considering she's not doing well anymore. Darn you, Vlad! So, we're definitely gonna have to put that on. Which, oh gosh, Cubix, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I did not take into account what would happen if she put on the hazmat suit. She removes all of her clown makeup and everything into the dark hallway. <laughs> and we'll go ahead and use our key card on here too. We just get lower and lower. <laughs> Oh gosh, the noises. Let's go ahead and check this thing out. What kind of experiments have they been doing down here? <laughs> I wonder what the original goal with this experiment was anyway. Oh my gosh. All right, the truth has been revealed. There is a giant plant monster. We need to vaccinate three sims. We need to create experimental vaccines on the chemical analyzer at the secret lab. We will test this three times on possessed sims to unlock the ability to create the infection vaccine on the chemical analyzer. Uh, once you have an infection vaccine, you'll be able to vaccinate other sims and recruit them. So I believe the analyzer is back upstairs. Yeah, we're going to need... Oh, we need a bizarre fruit. And I imagine we probably need clusters for each thing. So how many do we need? We're going to need 15 in total again, I think. And our weather thing says strange weather for Strangerville. That is all it says. All right, let's grab these spores. Woo! Definitely some dangerous weather out here, at least. All right, I grabbed some extra spores. So let's go ahead and go home, I think. So we can talk to our curio friend. Oh, we got another pop-up. Stop the infection. You've discovered the source of the infection at plaguing Strangerville, an enormous mother plant buried in the base of the lab. The only way to get the town back to normal is to defeat the vile creature. Find a cure for the infection and assemble a team to destroy the mother plant. Well, we're going to need to get some bizarre fruits. So <laughs> let's go ahead and buy some curio items. And Erwin's back, thankfully. We're going to need... A lot of bizarre fruits probably will buy 10. Now, how do we craft the vaccine again? We have to go back to the lab and do stuff in the analyzer. Let's get down here and make our experimental vaccine. Cubix has successfully crafted an experimental vaccine. Test this on possessed sims to learn how to craft the true vaccine received. So let's go find someone who's been possessed. Any possessed sims around? I don't see anyone right now. <laughs> No one that's possessed, at least. There's a few people around at the bar, but we have a lot of military personnel here. Oh, 
Sure, you can be proper for the sake of this video, Cubex. I guess. Oh, possessed person. Test experimental vaccine. Oh, look, there's another one. Did that work? The vaccine seemed to have caused some kind of reaction, but did not completely isolate the infection. Keep testing on other possessed sims to see how it will react. Okay, well, that probably means we have to go make some more vaccines, right? We just keep coming back. I definitely think we're going to have to make a few vaccines this time and not just one. All right, we've made three more vaccines that are experimental. I'm going to go ahead and have her go home, though. We'll go ahead and get her needs taken care of. Oh, great. They got our toilet, too. <laughs> well, once you're done with that, there we go. Uh, back in her normal outfit. <laughs> she looks so much better. And it's Harvest Fest, so that's great. Oh, no. We don't need <laughs> the freaking ghost. No, these are alien gnomes. What the heck? Are they aliens because it's Strangerville? This is a very bad time to have gnomes in our front lawn. Let's see if there's any possessed sims about. <laughs> there is. Let's test this vaccine on you. No, what do you mean you should get going? We're trying to save you. <laughs> Please. I guess she's not possessed anymore, but just by the fate of the game. Do we have anyone else? Or is everyone back to normal for the time being? Nope, there's someone over here. Is this who we tried the thing on earlier? Alright, are you back to normal? Did not completely ask. Keep testing on other sims. Okay. Oh, down she goes. Jess! <laughs> It's your turn. The vaccine seems to be isolating the infection. Head back to the secret lab to create the infection vaccine on the chemical analyzer. All right, we are definitely gonna have to make some more though because I don't have enough spores. We definitely should put the hazmat suit back on <laughs> before we go back in here. Back down here, let's firstly convert our experimental vaccine since we have an extra. We'll go ahead and take care of that. And we are gonna make a couple more. Cubix has successfully crafted an infection vaccine. Use this on other sims to vaccinate and recruit them to help you fight the mother plant. All right, we've got all of the vaccines that we need. Oh gosh, all the gnomes have moved. The gnomes we had in our front lawn are gone. <laughs> They're all over here too. Oh man, I hate the gnomes. Oh, here we go. Got Celia once again. So let's get to this. Come on, Cubix. It's time to save the day. Did that fix it? Are you back to normal? I feel so much better. I can think clearly and that terrible sound in my head is gone. Can we recruit you now? Recruit to fight Mother Plant. <laughs> hey, person whose life I just saved. Want to help me defeat the thing that possessed you? I barely even know you. What makes you think I would risk my life to help defeat this Mother Plant you speak of? That is nothing but a bunch of mumbo jumbo. Says the person possessed by the mother plant. I don't know. We might have to just talk to some of our friends then. Let's also help this dude here. Cubix the clown. Cubix the hero. Seems like he's all good now. Yep. All right. Just one more. Any other possessed people around? Oh, yeah. There's one walking right past us. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Patrice, it is time to be free. How you feeling? <laughs> Doing a lot better. So we're going to have to turn to our friends for recruitment. So I definitely think that we should... Firstly, let's go home. <laughs> Back to our lot. I already lost Nathaniel. There he is. Invite to hang out at current lot. Oh, they're all in my house right now. Let's talk about Strangerville. By my calculations, if someone can vaccinate and recruit three allies, they'd have enough to surround the mother plant from all sides and defeat her. Oh, man. We have to befriend the people we saved, huh? It's got to be the people that we vaccinated. Discuss local fishing spots, I guess. <laughs> and try to make friends. All right, you can leave then if we don't need you. Oh, he's not happy right now. We have bad compatibility, apparently. It seems like they figured out a way to cure people. I hope this all gets fixed soon. It will if you help me. What are the chances we can recruit him now? Now that we have stargazed for a moment. Oh, gosh. <laughs> of course I'll help you destroy the mother plant. I'm all for clearing Strangerville of this vile infection. Yay, we've got one. All right, now we need to get Celia over. <laughs> 
It's a lot easier to do this once at a time. Hey, Celia, I know you didn't want to help me earlier, but if we become better friends, maybe you'll be willing? I, I think we're better friends. Are we good enough friends, though? There we go. <laughs> so now we just need Patrice, I guess. It's very late. I highly doubt this person will come over, though. Yeah, Patrice is sleeping. We'll just send everyone home and deal with it tomorrow. Please don't set the house on fire. Oh, thank gosh. Let's see if we can get Patrice to come over now. All right, Patrice is here. So we will talk about Strangerville and we'll try to make friends and we'll ask to cloud gaze because that's very effective. The military are talking about Operation Big Mama and stopping subject B377A. If I could get some of that infection vaccine, I'd be inclined to help them. Well, good thing I already took care of that for you. Now I just need you to help me out in defeating the plant. Yay! All right, let's go ahead and head to the lab ourselves and I think we'll be able to get them to come over later. Firstly, we're gonna need our hazmat suit. Secondly, we are gonna need our friends, I think. All right, it is time. Unfortunately, I don't think the others will have hazmat suits, but oh, it doesn't even look like it matters anymore. <laughs> and the big door. All right, all of our friends are here. Let's attempt to communicate firstly. And if this doesn't work, then it is what it is. Okay. It doesn't want to communicate, I don't think. It's not very happy, at least. Uh-oh, we're freaked out. Cubics can feel the gaze of a nosy sim. Oh, <laughs> it's one of our peeps, isn't it? Let's just fight everything. Oh, no. Looks like we've got some friends here. Let's mega spray. We need to keep an eye on our infection level, though. Oh, boy. We're doing okay so far, I think. Patrice is over here. Looks like we're doing pretty good, though. Uh-oh. Our infection level's going up. That's not good. Let's get her to fight this minion that's coming, I think. At least one of them. Oh, gosh. We almost have it, right? Group commands. Be careful. Our infection level is really high right now. I'm like hyper focused though because it's a very intense moment but it's so good oh no did we lose someone i think we lost someone patrice went down nope no 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 we've already got someone reviving come on come on friends <laughs> this is a very intense thing right now come on we're right there we can do it did we get it i can't tell if we got it oh i think that was it is that it i think we did it Yay! <laughs> Congratulations, the vile tyranny of the mother has been brought to justice. Your heroic victory has been compensated with a sampling of the mother for you to display. And aspiration completed. After much planning and investigation, and perhaps a bit of unconventional combat, Cubix has freed Strangerville from the clutches of the mother plant. Strangerville can now sleep safe and sound. Yay! <laughs> we earned a trait too, Hero of Strangerville. Welp! That is the end of the mother plant. We did it. And I think all of these possessed sims are fleeing. <gasps> we lost Ted, though. <laughs> I don't know if he will be revived at this point or if he is considered dead. But yeah, we did it. <laughs> so we got a piece of the mother plant in our... Probably household inventory, I would assume. Uh, we're just gonna leave Ted here and we're gonna go home. Another pop-up, a little less Strangerville. With one last screech, the mother plant collapses. Returning home, you notice that things are beginning to return to normal. Bizarre plants are subsiding and the infected are waking up from their nightmare. Strangerville owes you a huge debt. You are a hometown hero. You have defeated the mother plant and returned Strangerville to normal. You can return to the mother plant at any point to reawaken her. Once resurrected, you can have her set the infection level to your desired strangeness. This will allow you to replay the story with other families. Well, I definitely don't want to be doing that. <laughs> I will, however, get her out of her hazmat suit. That way she's back to normal. And let's take a look at this prize we got. We have Mother Plant Tendril. With the destruction of the Mother Plant, you take the time to carve out a small trophy to display in your home. Now everyone will know that you put an end to the mother plant's control over Strangerville. And here is this monstrosity. <laughs> 
So I'll have her view it. It is her token of remembrance for what she has achieved. And I believe there's some kind of like milestone or something that comes with this too. If I remember correctly. Yeah, defeated the mother plant. Cubix is a hero of Strangerville. Great. I love that. <laughs> But that is the story of Strangerville. That took me way longer than I thought it was going to. The recording is almost two hours, so that's going to be fun to cut down. But overall, I still really like the storyline. I think it was pretty cool. And I remember back when they teased this pack, everyone was very confused on Twitter and kind of freaked out about the uh, Sim Gurus with their creepy font and talking about the mother and no one had a clue what that meant. But yeah, the storyline, the gameplay definitely has a lot of back and forth, which is really the only thing I don't like about it. But overall, really fun. Unfortunately, I don't think that this is something they will ever do again, but I can remain hopeful that someday we will get another kind of storyline gameplay, but I seriously doubt it. But if you guys were thinking about getting Strangerville, uh, I definitely recommend. Obviously, the gameplay won't be for everyone. And if you've watched this video and watched through the whole thing, you've already, you know, seen the gameplay. So you may not even care about the storyline anymore. But I really like the world and the build and buy stuff is fairly nice as well. At least some of it. Greatest Sim stuff is good. So if you're not much of a gameplay person, I would still recommend Strangerville for other aspects of it. But yeah, I had a pretty good time with this, honestly, so I'm glad I got to do this again. But let me know what you guys think about Strangerville, and with that, I'm gonna go. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, subscribe to the channel, and make sure you have notifications on so you don't miss anything. Be sure to follow my socials, links are below. I'll see y'all soon. Bye!